Now if you wish to run code on a controlled continuous basis, then a timer will work great for you. This method will use less CPU versus something like the enter frame event that runs every single frame. So firstly, we'll create an instance of the timer class. The class constructor will take two arguments. The first one being the delay, which is added in milliseconds, meaning one second is 1000, two seconds is 2000, and so on. The second argument is the repeat value. Now if you wish to run this at an infinite amount of times, then completely ignore this. If not, put your specific finite value. Now let's add an event listener to the timer and place what function we want to run after every, in this case, two seconds. Let's now create that function. We'll make a simple trace statement. Now, don't forget, we'll have to specify the data type that we're passing. So within the function brackets, type ebt colon timer event. And to wrap it all up, just add a simple start function to the timer. So, assuming you have a repeat value, we could have the timer do something when it's complete. With a copy, paste, and a quick edit of our event listener, we can listen for a completion with the timer underscore complete. Notice this is all uppercase, very important. We also need to add a unique function, so we'll do that quickly as well. We could also start slash stop the timer manually when we please. Now note, this will not remove the timer, but it'll simply just pause it in place. Now this is a simple matter of just as before, we put my timer dot start, we could add my timer dot stop. Now this is best utilized once you place it on buttons. Lastly, we could use the very same timer event listener, just with a slight edit, to remove the listener. In this example, let's place it on the timer's completion function. Just replace the add with remove, and you're all good. Now if you wish for the project file that we worked on, also with some comments on it for a quick reminder, you could go ahead and download from the description below. You'll be able to open this file as far back as Flash CS3 with no problem.